So welcome to structures and pointers. Structures and pointers. We discuss structures. We discuss it pointers. We discuss structures and pointers. So we try to combine them. We try to combine them. And this is important topic. Uh, but majority of it will be discussing as part of the programming. As part of the programming. Okay. While when we discuss the programming part, uh, we will be discussing. But it is an important topic and in fact, uh, uh, from this point, you can say go to the data structures, data structure subject, data st structure subject. So these structures and pointers will be combined and uh, uh, various indexing structures will be created like binary trees, B trees, B plus trees, etc. Which are the indexing structures which are used by the operating system and also which are used in the DBMS which are used by the database management system. So this is, this is an important topic, but we try to be brief here. So probably we'll study more about it in, in um, data structure subject. But nevertheless, in the programming part, we'll discuss how to use these structures and pointers, how to combine them, how to combine them. I will discuss briefly about what, are, what is called as self-referencing structures or link list, link list. Pointers can be members of structure, that is one way. And also pointer can be made to point to a structure. These are the two options. These are the two options. Pointers can be members of the structure. Pointers can be members of the structure. And also a pointer can be made to point to a structure itself. So this is the trivial one. Okay, pointer can be a member. But this pointer can be made to a structure, point to a structure. That leads to lot of data structures. So there is nothing unique about pointers being members of the structure. You can have a pointer as a member pointer as a member okay to access the address of the pointer variable you can use s point dot point and to access the pointer member value you have to add star you have to add star this is in case of pointer being a member of the structure pointer being a member of the structure but what happens if pointer points to a structure? A pointer can be made to point to a structure. Pointer can be made to a structure. It leads to what is called as link list. It leads to what is called as link list. Say you have this uh, structure student with the integer value, with the in integer value. So in that case, so this is a pointer. This is actually S1 is a pointer. S1 is not a just simple structure variable. S1 is a structure variable which is a pointer. This pointer is pointing to this structure of type student. Structure of type student. So if you want, you can actually add another thing, another variable called say structure student, say star link link field or nest field so if you have like this integer value and then the other field is nothing but the link to the structure this is actually called as self referencing structure this is self self referencing structure why why so because this is a link this is referring this is referring to what student only that's why it is called as self referencing structure so the member of a structure if you have this structure variable which is a pointer if the member of a structure can be accessed using arrow operator if it is an ordinary variable if it is an ordinary variable say s1 then we use dot operator if it is a pointer variable then we use arrow operator like s1 value like s1 value so what, what it results in, if you declare like this self-referencing structure, it means actually 
uh, diagrammatically you have to show it little time consuming but i will try to show it briefly so if you have this value okay maybe you have to use this one so say 10 oh okay 10 and then say 20 then 20 20 say okay so like this 30 so here there are two fields actually one is value field value field is field there is another field called as link field so diagrammatically it can be shown like this so it is a link field the next field is value field and then link field the link field what it is doing it is pointing to the structure so it can be point to the another structure of this same type that's why self-referencing structures so like this you can have and the usually the last one the last one will be pointing to what is called as null null diagrammatically it is generally implemented uh, it is shown as like this null so this is link list you can see link list list of elements list of elements which are linked which are linked that's why it is called as link list link list so this is structures and pointers so we have to discuss we have to again combine these structures and pointers with dynamic memory allocation and then we were going to write the program that program consumes a lot of time program consumes a lot of time so I, I make it as a separate video make it as a separate video so this is regarding structures and pointers structures and pointers so continue to link linking is everything so continue to link thank you